guys? How y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic and welcome back to the channel. And today what I have for you guys is a Ninjago video or another Ninjago video. I don't cover Ninjago that much on the channel, which I probably should because Ninjago, if you guys didn't know, it's actually my number one favorite franchise. You're probably thinking, you know, Star Wars. But no, that Star Wars is actually my second. Ninjago is my first. And uh, I care deeply about this franchise. The Lego Ninjago movie, well, of course... Not as good as the show is a great film, great comedy, I think. I really enjoy that film. Uh, but the, Ninja, you know, the Ninjago actual canon, the movie, or excuse me, the uh, the TV show, the books that I have, like, you know, the two books. Um, basically, everything Ninjago TV show canon, I freaking love. It's my favorite thing ever. So, when Kirby Morrow, you know, passed away from drugs or whatever, it sucks, you know. Cole is my favorite ninja. And, uh, you know, it hit, me, it hit me because not only is my favorite ninja dead and the voice, but Kirby's dead. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like it when people... You know, I'm not like, oh man, cool! You know, I was like, you know, it sucks that Kirby died too. So, of course, it was a huge traumatic event that kind of affected the Ninjago community many different ways. Uh, and one of the reasons that, you know, Tommy Andreessen and the different people at Ninjago with Lego were kind of talking, they're like, okay, how do we, you know, how do we, uh, with Kirby Morrow dead, you know, he passed away, how do we um, effectively, you know, keep the Cole character going in Ninjago? Because Ninjago is a franchise that is going to keep going for a while. So they were like, oh, you know, we'll, we'll just take Kirby's old lines and reshuffle them around, kind of like Leia did or, you know, whatever, something like that. And then they said, oh, let's just have uh, Cole be completely mute. You know, so something in the story happened and Cole can't talk. Or recast. And they did recast. Now, uh, today on Lego.com, I'm pretty sure you can find it also on YouTube. I'm not going to link anything because I don't know of copyright and, if you know, Ninjago's very, um, you know, touchy with that sort of subject, so I don't want to go putting things. So don't check the description. Nothing will be here in this video. I'm only doing that again. I don't want to get in trouble with, uh, you know, leaking and all that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's officially out on the lego.com website, but if not, again, I saw it on YouTube. Go check it out. It just set up in, I think it's uh, Ninjago or Lego Ninjago Core. It's called Core. They're basically like a different uh, set of Ninjago shorts, kind of. I, I don't know if they're canon, but they're Ninjago shorts, and I believe they're called Core. And this is where we officially got our very first new, uh, you know, voice acting role as Cole. Uh, now, look, that being said... I'm uh, probably, probably not going to be, uh, you know, loved for this opinion, but it's a hot take, so forgive me, I'm full of those. Um, Cole, like I said, he's my favorite ninja, Kirby Morrow's a great voice actor. Um, I can do a great Master Wu, as you guys know. I've been working on Cole, it's not great, but it's better than what this guy's doing. Uh, and Andrew Francis, who voiced Morrow, and Ninjago, the, the ghost, Morrow, Master of Wind, uh, he is voicing Cole. Now, first off... I guess it's better than nothing. You know, it is better than just saying, oh, Cole died off screen, or, you know, oh, he's he can't talk now, so sorry, you know. It is better than that. But it is a bit lazy. And again, Ninjago's my, I don't want, I'm not hating. I am not hating. I'm just giving my honest opinion. This is lazy, because Andrew Francis is the voice of Moro. And I know Moro's dead or whatever, but when I heard Andrew as Cole, I didn't hear Cole. I heard Moro, and I get it. The voice actor for Cole is dead. You get it, but get a voice actor who kind of sounds like him. Maybe like me. Hey guys, my name's Cole, and today we're gonna go on a mission to get some cake. Yeah. Hey Master Wu, you want some cake? And hey, Misako. Jay, come on, Jay, don't touch my game. Something. It's not perfect, but it's better than what Andrew's doing. Cause Andrew just sounds like Moro. You know what I mean? Just slightly less evil and less corrupt. Um, and that is kind of a shame that they just kind of took, they kind of copped out and went, uh, Andrew, you did voice work for Moro, get him, you know, and they were like, perfect, sounds good, you know, it's just, it doesn't make sense, it sounds too much like Moro, I don't like it, maybe when I hear more of it, I will grow to, you know, I have to like it, because I can't change anything, but, you know, like me, I'm not saying I'm better than Andrew, but I think that it would have been easier to find someone who could do a better you know, Cole sounds like this. You know, he's more of a raspy, more of a lighthearted, you know. Master Wu, why did you climb the mountain? You know, that kind of thing. Does anyone have any cake? And instead he's like, Master Wu, it's just too deep. You know what I mean? I don't like it. But, again, this was kind of the only, you know, alternative we could have had apart from him dying or whatever. So, Andrew Francis, you know, you're great as Moro, and you're probably going to do great as Cole. You're never going to see this, but anyone who is utterly pissed off and going to kill me because I don't like it. Just know that I probably will grow to like it, but as of right now, it sounds too much like Moro. It's kind of lazy. It's kind of half-assed, and they just went, uh, get him. He did previous work on the show, but he sounds like Moro. Who cares? It's lazy. It's stupid. So, again, hopefully, you know, I, I, I'm sure I'll grow to like it, but right now, I'm not saying they should have gotten me, but they should have gotten someone like me who could do a kind of okay cold voice. 
that's a little more high up, a little more raspy, a little more something like that, you know? And again, it, practice makes perfect, and I'm sure I'll get better at Cole, but I mean, you know, I'm not trying to send hate. I'm not, you know, Andrew, you suck. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not one of those, like, fake fans. I'm not. Um, again, this comes out of my truest heart of heart for Ninjago, my favorite franchise. Um, I just don't happen to like it. Again, as I said before, I'll probably grow to like it in the future, but as of right now, I think it sounds too much like Moro. It's just too deep. It's just, literally, it is the guy who played Moro. It's just less evil and corrupt sounding like it, like it or, you know, I already said. So, it's, it's just kind of a shame that they kind of just copped out and went, get him, he's Andrew, you know. But, you know, I'm not trying to send hate towards him again. I don't, I don't know how the Ninjago community is going to react if they ever see this. They're probably going to try to cru crucify me and, you know, kill me. But still, I think that, uh, you know, as of right now, I'm not too happy about it. You know, and I, that, like, I love Ninjago, you know what I mean? I love season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I don't like too much. 8 is the best thing of all time. 9, 10, and 11 through whatever, 14, 15 is good, really good. My only negative would be season 7 writing and season, uh, excuse me, the Day of the Departed, Halloween thing. Um, I don't like that too much. I don't hate them. I don't hate anything in Jago. I don't even hate the Cold Boys. I just don't like it, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, it's a tough situation because we're stuck with this guy. You know, I can't change it. I can go to Lego and say, hey, why don't you get me as cool? I'm better and I can do it and we're a ninja and we're part of a team. Yeah, kick. And they can go, suck a fart. You know what I mean? They don't care. They already got Andrew. Doesn't matter. So, you know, maybe one day miracles happen. Maybe one day I'll be the voice of Cole and Master Wu. Who knows? Hell, I'll do it for free. But still, I think that it is kind of, again, as a huge Ninjago fan, I just don't really like it. So I don't know what to tell you. I know a lot of people are talking about it, and they're like, oh, it's great. I don't know. As a person who does many, many, like 15, not 15, 50 voices. I do a lot of voices. You guys know. Um, and I'm going to do more soon, but it is very, uh, you know, as a person who does that, not professionally, but I can do them, um, it is kind of disheartening to see my favorite character just sounding like Moro. It's like, it's like Tom Kenny dying, and then, you're not Tom Kenny, I guess, yeah, Tom Kenny, and they, they get a new guy for Spongebob, and it's, it's the guy that sounds like Patrick, you know, they just got Bill Fagerbaki, or it's like, uh, I don't know, freaking... Mordecai, J.G. Quintel, he passed away, right? Which he didn't, this example. J.G. Quintel passed away, and they get, uh, let's just get the guy who does Rigby to do Mordecai too. They'll never know, and it's going to sound trash. So that's what they did, basically. But, again, I'm not complaining. I'm just simply giving my honest opinion. I don't hate it. I'm not trashing on anything. I'm not trashing on anyone. May sound like it, but I'm not. As, again, as a person who does voices and can do a half-decent call, I do think that, you know, this is a bit of a, bit of a shake-up. Uh, again, we're left with this ultimatum where it's like, you know, either we don't get anything or we get this guy, I guess. I don't know. Um, but still, good luck to Andrew Francis. You know, I'm sure it'll grow on me, but as of right now, I'm not feeling it. But tell me in the comments, if you guys have seen the new Ninjago shorts, Core, whatever, uh, how do you feel about Cole's voice? Do you like it? Do you like mine better? Do you like uh, Andrew Francis better? What do you think? Are, are you content? Are you happy? Again, me, personally, I'm not into it too much. Um, you know, I'm not going to claim, oh, they ruined the show, or I'm never watching it again. I'm not an idiot. I'm not a fake fan. I, I just happen not to like it that much. I'm still going to support the show, support Andrew, and hopefully it all goes well in the future. But, uh, again, not feeling that. So again, tell me in the comments what you think down below about the new Cole voice. Uh, again, if you haven't seen the shorts, they're, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're called Ninjago Core. Look on Lego.com. Look on YouTube. Again, not putting it in the description. I don't want to jack anything up for myself. But, uh, again, it's just... It's tough, you know, it really, it's a tough situation because I don't like it, you guys don't, you know, Kirby Morrow shouldn't have died in the first place, drugs are, crack is whack, don't do it. But I do think that, you know, it's just we're in a situation where we have to literally go, okay, either nothing or something. And the something we got, I'm not too excited about, but again, I'm hopeful for the future as always. Uh, you know, that's all I can really say on that. I'm not too digging it, but we'll see what happens. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next Ninja video.